And those two numbers are not going to be the same necessarily. So we want to make sure to point that out. We need the sales budget because I know and we need to know how much we're going to sell, sell in order to know how many we're going to produce. However, we're not going to produce the same amount that we sell because one, we want to have a beginning inventory. I mean, we may have a beginning inventory. We may have units that are already there from the prior time period. And two, we want to give some leeway in case our sales are higher or lower than we expect or higher than especially higher so we want to have we probably want to produce then some more we want to have some expected ending inventory at the end of the period so the production budget then will take hey what's the beginning inventory last period uh you know what do we want in ending inventory and then basically decide the units that we're going to need for the production budget once we have that, once, once we say, okay, here's how many units we think we're going to sell, then we're going to do this production budget, figure out how many units that we need to produce in order to meet those sales goals, given or and considering the beginning inventory and the uh, kind of ending inventory, the like, amount of leeway we want. Then we can move forward and say, okay, now how much raw materials do we need to purchase? What about the dollars that we need to spend on raw materials that we will then convert to uh, the finished goods how much are we going to need to spend on things like the direct labor in order to achieve those goals is there any effect on the factory overhead and these types of items we can move forward once we have this information first the sales budget which allows us to move forward to the production budget getting the number of units that we expect to produce